But you're wearing the bracelet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. Thanks. It makes me so happy. That's great. It makes yeah. me happy, too. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on. Oh. Hi. Hi. We're officially on. We are officially on. And I actually asked Barbie if I could mm-hmm. talk about something that's really passionate to me. Something that I really care about. And we thought we should share with you guys. The ocean. The ocean. Now, I'm going to call this vlog Five and Five. And it's something that we can all do to help the ocean. Before we even get started, I want to dedicate this vlog to Sylvia Earle. Oh. She's a marine biologist, an author, and an explorer. She's the reason why I wanted to become a marine biologist. And fun fact, she is known as her deepness because she's the first person to walk solo for a quarter of a mile underneath the surface of the ocean. What? She spent over 7,000 hours underneath the water. That's incredible. In fact, didn't Time Magazine call her hero for the planet? Yes. Da, 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 da. She's amazing, and she's, again, the reason why I wanted to become a marine biologist. She's written a ton of books, but the one that really caught my eye when I was eight years old is called Dive, My Adventures in the Deep Frontier. And Earl also helped create the Deep Rover. That's a mini submarine that can go up to 3,000 feet underneath the surface of the so ocean. So cool. So today, I wanted to share five cool photographs that really communicate how amazing the underwater water world is to everyone out there. Now, all these pictures are going to come from National Geographic, and they're amazing. This first picture shows a diver watching an emperor penguin swim right by. Oh, wow. These are called orange sea squirts. They live about 200 feet underneath the surface of the ice. They kind of look like sponges. They do. They're kind of (laughs) cute. This photo was taken by Christina Mittermeier. It's a leopard seal. Did you know that leopard seals get their names because their spots look a lot like real leopards and trees? I did not. I do now. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ken. Oh, and this, this photo, this is one of my favorites. Doesn't it look like a palm tree? Yes, isn't it? It's not a palm tree. It's what? called a feather star. It's not even a plant. It's an animal, and it can swim. This is a sea anemone, and somehow it got embedded into the surface of the ice. Scientists don't even know how it got there. Now, did you know that less than 20% of the oceans have been explored? So we should go snorkeling at Catalina this weekend. Oh, we should. You guys want to join us? Everyone should come. <laughs> come on. <laughs> and now here's five amazing things that you can do to help save the oceans by you. Five and five. All right, Barbara, let's take turns. Let's take turns, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, reduce your energy use. Walk or ride your bike when you can. Don't forget to turn off the lights when you're not using them and use energy efficient devices like LED bulbs. Two, take care of the beach. Whenever you go to the beach, make sure to clean up after yourself and maybe a couple other people so that your stuff doesn't end up in the ocean. Always leave it better than you found it. That's a good plan. Right. Number three, volunteer. Be a part of a beach or a river cleanup. Those can be really fun. They are fun. Yeah. Number four, dive in. Learn how to swim and snorkel and explore and learn about all these amazing creatures that live in the sea. Number five, spread the word. Share your love of the ocean and the importance of taking care of it. Like we're doing right now. Don't ever take it for granted. This was such a great idea for a vlog. (laughs) Thank you so much for doing it. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace. Hi, thanks so much for watching. Check out what I made. We have had so much fun on this vlog. I'm so grateful for each of you, and I can't wait to show you everything we have in store. That's what the blank space is for.